Today's breakfast is brought to you by Northport, New York. Nicely grown backyard Swiss chard with some local eggs from East Northport, New York from my friend. Here we go. We got our local eggs. We got our local Mr. Bullet. Hi, Mr. Bullet. Whoa! Shots fired, buddy. So today is, today actually and tomorrow are pretty busy days, mainly because I'm filming my second concert with the band tomorrow. So we have our second rehearsal tonight and then the actual filming tomorrow. But then also I'm releasing a new song tomorrow, but I haven't finished it yet. So I have to go between those three, like two things and then things related to them, it's super busy. So I have to one, finish the song first. That's the first priority. Then two, practice for tomorrow, then three, create backing tracks because I think that Manny is going to rap on one of the verses but he can't drum and rap at the same time so for that one song I'm thinking that we're going to run tracks for it at least maybe a drum track and then he will be able to rap and not have to worry about the drums so I have to do that create an album cover for the new song oh and then edit the music video that I shot last night because I have to shoot a I shot the music video for the last week's song and I'm debating if I need to release that today <coughs> you good bro <coughs> debating if I need to release that today or on Saturday. But if it releases on Saturday, it'll release after the new song is released. So is it confusing? Is it not enough promo? Ah, who knows? In the end, there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. That's one thing I've definitely learned is like, don't put too much pressure on these decisions because it really doesn't matter in the end. So we'll just go with the flow. You good, bro? Starting out by multitasking, by doing my vocal warm up while creating the album cover for the new song. <laughs> What do you think of that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think that's pretty cool. I don't want to live in that reality. I want the most, want the best, want everything. But I don't want to die in that mentality. I'll prove them wrong and maybe then they'll say... Well, this day is flying by. It's nearly 2 o'clock and I think I'm exporting one of the closer versions of Diamond Dies to being finished. Gonna take a listen, master it, take a listen, then maybe make some tweaks and then export to go release. So this lettuce over here is completely exploding. It's humongous. I'm stopping by my parents later to give them a uh, a tray of stuff from the greenhouse like want to be a blessing with what I have so giving them a couple of cells of stuff these like inferno flame things are looking pretty wild what are they scorpion peppers they're looking good like they're actually getting nice and big while these guys kind of look like they got stunted um, which is sad because we put them out too early I guess but oh well but these are looking mighty large over here Wow, these ferns are coming in randomly. This is potato over here. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. It's beautiful. These look amazing. Now we're gonna do a sauteed Swiss chard steak and gorgonzola situation. Steak from upstate New York, the steak that I got from that quarter cow that I bought. Look at that, that's looking good. Now look at these, you see what these guys are? These are microgreens, a mix of all different little microgreens that we're gonna snip off the tops of some of them and throw them in there. Wow, look at that. That looks ridiculous, that looks ridiculous. You know what, YOLO, you only live once, right? Take a little piece of, let's top it off with a little bit of rosemary. And then, voila, happy lunch. Well, let's go shoot a lyric video, come on buddy. So a little backstory. I'm spontaneously going to go film a lyric video. Something super simple with this one. Um, but I just dropped off a whole bunch of plants and seedlings and lettuce and a bunch of stuff at my dad's house. Hung out with him for a couple minutes and then driving there and back, I was listening to the mix, the current mix that I have of Diamond Eyes. There's a couple of tweaks I want to make. I want to raise the bass a little. I want to add 
a little more volume to the vocals as well maybe take out a little bit of the mid-range maybe but i'm like i feel like it needs a third verse which like i'm debating but like i f <sighs> it's tough because i want to get it out on time because i also i have a i want to do a father's day song uh, which is next weekend i gotta start writing that so it's like do i spend the time working on a, what, what what could be a third verse for the song but then i have to record it and mix it and everything um, but I also have to practice for tonight too. I want to. I want tonight to. Be, I want to practice. I want to go in like really good. <laughs> oh, look at this dog. This is cool. You got a dog hanging out the window, just like Bullet, but like a really cool looking dog. So that's the bit debate I'm having because also I want to rehearse. But now, so so in that though, I was thinking about how I want to promote this song, and I was like, oh, I should do it like a teaser. Maybe I'll put like half of the first verse in the teaser in the chorus or something like that post on YouTube but then I was like wait before I do a teaser I need to do a lyric video for wasted away so then I was like okay well, I got to do a lyric video so there's so much content in my head so I'm like okay what do I want to do for a lyric video I have this super I was like do I just do something simple like you know I've, I've always done do I increase like the visuals a little and I kind of wanted to do the slow motion kind of moving thing like me walking at the beach but then I was like as I was picking up the gear to go uh, I was like you know what let's do this let's do a drone shot um, originally it was gonna be a drone shot I'll walk you through the process. Originally, it was going to be a drone shot from the harbor coming to me in Northport. So you like see all the boats coming towards me. Then I was like, you know what? Let's do it at the beach. And then I was like, no, let's get me walking on the beach. And then now the idea is let's go to that place, kind of the woodsy area that we film a lot of the stuff that I filmed before. Like uh, I need the sun to break and even in the wild. And then from that, then we will, uh, there's a really cool spot that I like that like overlooks like a little pond, but it's so hard to film because there's the pond and there's no grass in between it. So I was like, oh wait, let's use the drone. We can get a really cool drone shot. So that's what I decided to do. I grabbed the drone. I have Bullet here with me. He's going to hang out. And that's what we're going to shoot. So I'm going to shoot that, see if we could potentially write a third verse. And then I definitely need to practice. And then I get my beard trimmed. <laughs> you know what? Let's try to write while we're driving to this thing. I think I have an idea. It's <laughs> I have an instrumental version that's in a different key, though. I changed the key. But let's, let's we'll work it. It's been... Eight years since I dropped out ba 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 ha da ha ba da ba da ba ba da 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 ba ba da ba ka ba ba da 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 ka da da ba da 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 ba ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 ba I dropped out full time job now and everything I had behind now. So, this is the shop, but it's a little more bushy than I thought because, like, obviously, all the foliage has grown in. It is super buggy, though. Oh my gosh, man, there are so many bugs. I'm gonna try to get one shot of this real quick. Oh, I left my phone in the car. Shoot, and I need my phone to, to fly this thing. Okay, I'll be right back. We are really cutting this close. This is crazy. <laughs> that was stressful. <laughs> trying to, as soon as I got it into here, this is a little clearing. It started trying to return to the home point, which their home point is right here, but it started raising. It would have crashed. Ooh, it would have crashed too. 
That was stressful. I say to their faces that I felt betrayed when the people of the people with some people with faith. Okay, cool. So I'm very happy that we actually wrote that sec, that last verse, the third verse, pretty fast actually. Um, I'm on my way to get my beard trimmed now, and it's pouring rain out, which is funny because literally every single time I've gone out to rehearsal. If not even, re definitely rehearsals, if not even recording too, rehearsals and recording, um, I think, I think three for three, it's been pouring rain out, which has been hysterical, like pouring rain, or at least definitely every time I have to load my car, which has been the past three times I've had to load my car, it's been pouring rain. I don't know, this is the third time, that's what it is. Every single time I've gone to a rehearsal, which was the first rehearsal that we had, then I had the gig, but I didn't have to load any gear. Then it was the second rehearsal I had, which was last week, and now today, it's pouring rain! I have to load the amp in the pouring rain, put the pedals in the pouring, pouring rain, oh. Pouring rain, man, it's like, what's going on? Yo, I'm legit telling you, this guy literally does the best job with the beer trims. I really like it, he takes his time, and I really appreciate that. All right, just took a quick rinse, now on the way. I don't know why that started playing. But now on my way to rehearsal, uh, running five minutes late, I went home and took a quick rinse so I can get all the hair that's, you know, left over from trims and stuff like that. I gotta say, no time for dinner tonight, so uh, thank God for fruit in the fridge, which one day will soon be fruit from the garden, but fruit in the fridge right now. And shout out to the Dollar Tree, these snack packs. They're phenomenal in the sense that they're phenomenal. Uh, I'm a little salty that they're a dollar twenty-five now and not a dollar, but like, still for a dollar twenty-five, you get this whole pack. It's not too bad. I feel like that's a decent deal, especially for like nuts and stuff. But who knows? So we're having. I had an apricot and uh, we're tightening the apricot. Have an apple and have these nuts. So that's dinner. <laughs> 